Welcome back, bladers, to another set of week where we're going to look at this kind of like gambling set and a uh, set that actually gives you some a little bit more information about the top card of the store during the tournament. So let's go ahead and take a look at Cards Magica. So the basic thing about this set is like it's kind of like gambling or and also like a little cheating because you get to look at the top of the card and also you get a wild card from the top of the deck for free and you can actually use it during the tournament and this also actually helps you with uh, clashing where uh, some of the cards do clash. All right, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the first card. First card is Shy Witch Toho. Uh, she has a playability. Look at the top of the deck, and um, this kind of gives you just a little bit of information about if clashing or some of the effects here in this deck. It's a good card to actually just have in this set if you're going for it for synergy. Pretty much a multi purpose card on. Um, just for clashing or anything else you want to know about. It does she does have an extra action ability and that is just to clash and the winner gets 15 and you get one of those cards um, that was used in the clash. Should be very beneficial so it is still um, as I said a gamble. All right, next is Secret Magic School. It has a playability in which that you look at the top of the you reveal the top card of this door deck and then you get four times as, is it four times it is yeah it is four times as much as the star ranking on that so uh, but only up to 24 rp so you need at least a six star or higher to get the maximum maximum points for that now 24 rp is pretty good just off the bat for a card that just kind of gambles but uh if you're most likely you're probably going to get around the average base of a of a star deck it's either three stars or four stars so you're going to look at something like 12 to 16 stars if you're going through um if you see a master set card or if you already actually know the card that's up there so this would be a good card to play with that and the next card kind of deals with that wild card kind of thing is the uh dark wimar of pure evil it has a play effect of gain 10 rp and a very interesting action and in which that you actually replace this card with the top card of these of the store deck still pretty much just a shot in the dark if you're going to think about it that way but of course look for the cards in here especially shy Witch toho to actually uh, reveal the cards and know what it is before you're going to so you can that's the best advantage you can get uh, most of the time it's probably not going to work with you and this is going to be like a a really nice card from um a, a nice set that's actually going to work with this or just free rp but unfortunately I understand that you are not going to get this card back so it's going to be out of the game and you can't get it back so that shot in the dark is going to be like you know kind of weird because you're going to end up with a card you probably maybe not want anyway uh but do play those cards that actually will help you uh, because if you're just going to take a shot in the dark it's sometimes it's not uh, help you so it, it might but uh, most of the cards will just give you maybe just straight RP um, from the core set it's just going to be just uh, a filler card that does nothing in your uh, tableau and next we have Headmaster Gamblemore um, he has the action that he takes the four top cards of the store and puts it into the store area the second heart market area and then you gain the um, rp based on its stars and then you get to put one back so great card for clashers it's a great card just in the set alone and that remember that you can actually use this action before you actually play a card um that's like just as any action so you can actually uh set up clashing card or whatever top card you want on top of the store deck and still getting some RP off of that. I can see this as a useful, useful card, but uh, I'm not a, a, a clasher as well, but it's still quite a uh, you know gamble because you're mainly going to get about, on an average, about 16 RP out of this. Still pretty good, but you, get, you do get that really good advantage of whatever card is next after that. So maybe pair this with um, the Dark Grimoire of Pure Evil and see what happens there. And our super rare is Harvey Potmaker. It's a play effect that if you clash with an opponent and if you win, you get 15 RP. Plus, you may get those two cards. You may add up to those two cards into your hand. So, um, that's actually a lot of uh, flexibility if you don't want cards in the hand. Sometimes you don't uh, for some decks around um, different sets. But uh, adding two cards in your hand for free, that's actually pretty nice. And um, even though they're shot at dark, but it's, uh, you're still going to get that 15 RP. Plus, you're going to get those two cards uh, that may or may not work for you. Sometimes you already have built your deck around that anyway. And the deck is Toil in Trouble. 
And uh, this is a very uh, interesting uh, deck. It's not a scoring deck. It is an action that actually will uh, help you out for more of a better setup uh, during the tournament. What's great about it is it gives you RP based on the number of stars you're going to reveal the next three cards. And then you take one of those cards back and you put any of those cards back in order as you want it. So great setup and you also get to keep a card among those. And I guess you're going to look about to 9 to 12 RP from the gain. So it's not going to be a very heavy gain from that. But uh, for the setup wise, I think it's great. Remember that it is an action and you can play actions before you play a card. So if you're going to play a card that clashes, this is a great deck to have because it's actually not in your tableau and you don't have to set it up any three. You know, remember just the deck is actually a bit more protected than actually cards on your tableau. So I don't see much use in this. Uh, it doesn't score that much RP. Even with that extra card in there, it, it, it's, it's just uh, too much of a chance to actually pass off on something better on a, on a better deck. Talking about the synergy about this set, you're looking for more of Sorry Witch Toho, Secret Magical School, and Hatmaster Gamble Moor for a support for the other cards, Dark uh, Grimoire of Pre Evil, Harvey Puttmaker, and Toil in Trouble. And those other cards will help you finish off that combo so that uh, you know when you're ready to actually take a dive into the store deck with those cards, you won't probably be uh, let on the shorthand of things, but uh, maybe a bit more beneficial when you uh, actually set up your set up the store deck and as for the corset i think these are great support for clashes of course because they're going to let you see the top of the uh the store deck and kind of arrange it as you want and take a peek at it so you know what kind of card you're going to get from it and i guess a good combo to look for in the corset with uh headmaster gamma more is kashta and chase pair that with Headmaster Gamma more and you can get a lot more cards down into these aftermarket and so you can have more flexibility that way so you can actually score big on those cards. So other sets to look for is probably Lightning Bug. I would probably recommend in there Walsh and especially Jamie who actually kind of functions like these cards. And if you want to play Nasty, you can look for cards from Vex and they reveal the car top card of the store and then which you can actually take a big advantage of when you actually know what those cards are and then shut down a lot of people. Just a quick look, Vex Meteor does something with types and then you run Naz uh, does something with elements. So look for those cards if you want to play really mean and shut down those other players. And to start wrapping things up, uh, most of these cards do work much better together. And don't forget that these cards work well for clashing decks. Anyway, that's all I have time left for you. And if you'd like to talk about any of the cards here, um, I don't want to be the one just talking about the cards. So you have found any combos or anything that will help other people out of the tournament with this particular set, go ahead and leave your comments below. I would love to hear them. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and you can subscribe for more Millennium Blades videos. Until next time, see you later, bladers.